Kata, do you want to go on early morning walkies? Here he comes. Walkies! Do you want to? Come on then, let's go. Kata, not there. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. How are we all doing? Oh, it is a glorious morning this morning. I don't know if you can kind of see the sun poking through the trees. It's actually 7 a.m. Now, I never ever take Carter for a walk this early. We normally go in the afternoon. But I'm a little bit stressed. I'm not going to bore you too much with this story. But basically, I took my car into BMW yesterday. It was supposed to, basically, there's like a little light, engine light that's come on in my car. Took it in thinking it'd just be something really simple and get switched off. And basically, they've kept my car in and it's also going to cost £700, which was not something I was expecting. So, a little bit stressed. So, I thought, do you know what? Going for a walk with a dog. Oh, there we go. You can see the sun now. Look, going for a walk with a dog, he loves it, also de-stresses me. So, a really good way to start the day. Also, my hair is currently wet because I'm a little bit nervous today. I mean, you could see something hilarious later. Basically, because I don't have a car, I mean, this is all the fun stuff to start the vlog. You're really, really gonna be, this is gonna keep you entertained. Um, basically, I've got a shoot tomorrow with L'Oreal. Really, really exciting, I've not really, worked with them before so i want it to go well it's for a hair care product and i was going to go and get my hair cut today which is in essex but now i live in kent so normally i drive over there to my other house but because i don't have a car i can't drive over there so yeah now i've got to go into the village here and find a local kind of barbers or hairdressers carter over this way and that just stresses me out because I'm really quite picky when it comes to like where I get my hair done and I have been into the village here once and went to a barber's and they basically sawed away my head like it was so uneven it was so bad I will not be going back to that one but I'm going to try and not find another one so I mean you could see later on a really really stylish cool haircut or it all could go horribly wrong also, something came through the post yesterday that's super, super exciting. Um, I'm very grateful for it. I'm not going to tell you what it is now. When I get back, I'm going to open it up because I actually haven't opened it yet. Um, well, there's more doggies. God, I love to play with doggies. It's funny because this dog over there that's playing off the lead runs over to that dog and plays but comes over to Carter and literally just attacked him. When we get back from our long walk, he has these like, look, oh, watch, he'll go mad. Go! What is wrong with you? Oh. You'd think he'd be tired and then he just has this burst of energy. Calm down. Oh, there's a door there. Calm it, you. Oh, I'll let you out. Come. Oh, there's a door there. Watch this, guys. Ready? Go. Where are you finding this energy from? Guys, that walk was so nice. So fresh, cleared my mind, I feel stress-free. Whenever the car's done, the car's done. And it's kick-started my day. I look like a serial killer holding this knife, like I'm about to star in the next Scream movie. This is the parcel I wanted to open up to you guys. Now, as it says, YouTube plastered across the front. I assume it's my plaque for hitting one million. So the last one that I got, I actually did open up on a vlog with you guys, and it was a small version, I think, because it seems a lot bigger box. And obviously it had 100,000 on there, and um, that is now placed, beautifully sat in my dressing room. And now, oh, I'm not really, let's get it open. Now we're gonna open up one million together, which is just, can I just say this is crazy that I'm even having kind of this conversation because 
I sat on 80,000 subscribers for so long and I was happy with that. I didn't really always use YouTube and I just never could have imagined that I would be receiving this plaque now to say that I hit a million followers on YouTube. Honestly, I can't tell you I'm my blown, my blown, mind blown by your guys' support, how my page just blew up from basically mining classes content. Um, so yeah, I just really want to take this opportunity to say thank you because this is just crazy and I cannot wait to put this up on my wall as such a huge achievement. Oh my God, it's huge compared to the last one. So it says, you did it, one mission, one channel, and one more thing, one million subscribers. Congratulations, you may have started with just a few viewers, but your voice, passion, and creativity have now touched the lives of people around the world. God, that's such a crazy feeling to feel like my videos could be watched around the world or are watched around the world. And the community you've built in, uh, is enriched by the stories you've shared as you bring people together. To honor this milestone, we're proud to present you with the Gold Creator Award. We hope this special recognition will remind you how much you mean um, to so many. Every day you redefining how content is created and watched one uh, one voice and one video at a time. It's a privilege to be part of your journey. We can't wait to see what you do next. Now, I believe the next plaque is 10 million. So I'm not gonna say never because I probably would have said 1 million was too far away for me to ever achieve. But I don't know if 10 million is on my kind of, my life path. I, I hope it is, but I don't know if we'll ever make it there. I mean, I will manifest it every day, but I won't be disappointed if I don't make it to that. So let's get it out of the box. God, these are really cool. I think it's a shame that like Instagram and TikTok don't do this because I think it's such a nice thing to have as an achievement. There we go, guys. It might be flipped with the camera, but basically says, presented to Carl Cunard for passing 1 million subscribers. And this is gonna be so nicely. God, my English is awful today. This is gonna be put perfectly up in my dressing room underneath the 100,000 and maybe one day the million, uh, the 10 million will be underneath. I'll probably be like 80 and then I'll hit a 10 million followers. Who knows, the world is my oyster. Uh, anyway guys, I need to finish off my coffee. I'm kind of like putting off going to get my hair cut because I'm so worried. So I'm like, oh, I'll do the washing instead. Oh, I'll, my car's coming soon, I'll wait. And then it'll get to the end of the day and I'll be like, oh, I'll just keep my hair the way it is. But I do need to go into town to get my hair done. I need to do it. Regardless of what happens to my hair, it has to be done. Guys, I don't know where the last couple of hours have gone. I feel like I was going to the gym last time I put the camera up. And then since then, I have got my car. Whoop, whoop. was a little bit annoyed because not only was BMW a day late with getting me my car back, they also told me they were going to wash and hoover it, which it definitely was in need of. It smells like dog. And they forgot. So I didn't have time to sit there and wait for them then to wash and clean my car. So still smells a dog, but anyway, we move. And then I went to get my hair cut. I kind of grabbed my balls and said, I don't know, where am I coming from these sayings from today? Grabbed my balls. I decided to get a pair of balls and just go to the barbers and just risk it. It could have all gone wrong, but actually it's like a little kind of Turkish barbers on my high street and they did a really good job. The, the guy was really nice. He understood exactly what I wanted, did exactly what I wanted. So now I feel like I'm more... I feel like I'm, I'm more confident about tomorrow's shoot with L'Oreal. But anyway, I'm going to get inside now. The little doggy would probably want to go outside. Got a few chores to do. Got the washing and some ironing, you know, all the exciting stuff. And then I'm going to pop dinner on. And I think an early night tonight, ready for my shoot tomorrow. What do you even do with this? It's like octopus tentacles. Guys, I am currently about to make dinner. I've put the chicken in the oven. Now, I've done broccoli mash before. Everyone always says I smash it. I hate eating broccoli, but if you cook it, mash it up and put a sauce in it, tastes great. So I thought to switch it up, I'd do it with cauliflower tonight, but I've never actually bought cauliflower before. I thought it just came in like broken up bits, but 
I bought this thing and it's like an octopus with tentacles. I'm like, do you cook it with the leaves on? Do you just, do you cook the leaves? Is it like salad on a cauliflower? Or do you just cut it off? I mean, do you just slice down the middle? I'm like, I don't know. That's warming up. Let's just, oh, this is gonna make a mess. Let's just cut all the leaves off. I don't really get it. It literally looks, I'm sure everyone who's watching right now has bought a cauliflower before. I'm like a kid that's just got a new toy. It looks like a brain. I mean, I've kind of, the way I'm sounding, I probably need a brain in there myself, but it looks like a brain. It's really weird. I'm so mesmerized by cauliflower. Lately, when I've been cooking Carter's food, I either do pedigree or win a lot which is another dog food brand. I do like three or four sachets of these and then I cook him human food as well. So today he's got a piece of turkey. It's the only way he eats his dinner. So you have to do a bit of human food and then a bit of dog food. Ridiculous picky dog. Mix it all together and what do you get? Woo, exciting. Someone excited, oh, let's go. Come on, sit down. Good boy, wait. One, two, three, go. Come on, good boy. So today's sauce I'm gonna do is garlic nando sauce with hummus. I've done this before, by the way, with broccoli, not cauliflower, but it tasted really good. So I'm gonna carry on. I might just mix some of the sauce in now just to loosen it up a bit because it's still a little bit hard. It was taking ages. Broccoli normally finishes or broccoli's normally soft within like 12 minutes. This has been on for like 20 minutes and it's still quite hard, but anyway, let's add in some hummus. Ugh. Add in Nando's medium uh, garlic sauce. Obviously you can add in whatever like spice you like, as in this is garlic Nando's uh, because my partner doesn't like spicy food, but you can do like medium hot lemon and herb, whatever, with the hummus. So let's add this in. Let's do a little mix around. I'm making such a mess. It's like scrambled eggs, but it's actually cauliflower with hummus and Nando's garlic sauce. Making sure it's fully mushed up. Good thing is, it tastes so good. It tastes like you're actually in mash or something cheeky, but actually cauliflower is really good for you. There we go, guys. A chicken with kind of lemon juice, seasoned with some herbs, and then mashed cauliflower. Oh my God. Does anyone else agree? I just saw myself in the camera. Does anyone else agree that yawning and crying for me are so unattractive on me? I mean, not ever, some people can do anything and they look attractive, but when I yawn and I, I cry, I have such an unattractive yawn and cry. Yeah, I think if I ever watch a sad movie, I have to watch it on my own because my cry face is enough to put off anyone. I could never be an actor in a play, like in a film, and have to do a yawning or crying scene. I'd make everyone switch off. I literally look like an ogre trying to catch flies or wasps in their mouth. Anyway, that's not the way I wanted to start this morning's vlog. This morning's vlog, I have just been to the gym. I absolutely stink. I'm sitting here, I can smell myself, but I can't go and shower because I'm shooting like a hair care product this morning for L'Oreal and it requires me going in the shower. So I'm like, what's the point of wasting the water and going in twice? Also, I was gonna show you guys like 
an updated sort of makeup routine for me. But I feel like as I'm about to go in the shower, it seems ridiculous me going in the shower, well, me doing a makeup routine, then going in the shower, washing it off. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna do a makeup, kind of a men's natural makeup routine, updated for me, next week's video. Because I feel like people used to love those videos and my products have kind of changed, my whole routine's changed. So I'm gonna do a little kind of update on what I use right now, next week's video. But I am on shoot today. I always find it really hard to be on shoot and film YouTube as well, because I'm trying to kind of focus on one thing at once. So I will try and pick up the camera as much as I can today, but I can't promise anything. So if I'm kind of sitting here now, and then next minute it jumps to later when I'm going into London, I can apologize. No, I can only apologize. My brain. I feel like I need a coffee. I've just had a morning smoothie, but I need to need a morning coffee. Um, see, now I'm lost. I don't even know what I'm on about. Oh, smoothies, by the way. This is just kind of diverting now. Does anyone love a morning smoothie? I only normally have them when I go on holiday because I feel like it's a treat because it isn't something I normally make at home. So when I go on holiday, I try and eat foods I don't typically eat at home, like mussels or octopus or squid because it's something I want to cook at home. It's the same with the morning juice. I'd always in my hotel or if I walk down the seafront, get like a morning smoothie because it's not something I have at home. So it makes me feel like I'm out of my comfort zone and on holiday. But now I've kind of disappointed that because now I've started making morning juices and smoothies with like fruit and stuff. Um, but what I was gonna say is, um, yes, I will try and pick up the camera as much as I can today, but later I will be heading into London for my friend's launch event. So I'll definitely be taking the camera there. So yeah, I'm gonna pop the kettle on and hopefully I will see you at some point today. Reese, in this shirt, I look so sexy in this mirror. Hey, what's your name? Do you come here often? You're a saucy little wing, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I look so good in this shirt, in this mirror. I date you. Right, what are we doing? Guys, by the way, are you still filming? I am. By the way, as I said earlier, I don't normally pick the camera up, but Reese is catching sneaky moments. Um, we are just getting L'Oreal done. I feel like I can say, it's the thing, because I'm worth it. I think I'd be better than Cheryl Cole on it, if I'm honest, or whoever does it now. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely boiling in this bathroom, so I want to get this video done, and then we're going to head out for a walk with Carlos to get the next scene. Alright then. I just realised that Reese left his memory card last time he was here and I just unplugged it and gave it to him and I think I did some, now this was not like a sex shoot or anything, I did like a shoot in the shower and obviously when I'm with Reese, we just did a shower scene, I wear like pants or trunks but obviously when he's not here of course I'm going to have a shower naked and then just crop it but I think on the memory card, is it on there? No. No, we're safe. No, no. Oh, I can't believe you actually looked. Well, I, just had to make sure I, I, had I thought there was like naked shots in there. Um, I'm really proud of myself because on today's shoot, obviously I said I'd try and pick up the camera when I can, but I've been learning today. So as well as doing the campaign for L'Oreal, which I believe we smashed, if you want to see it, go and check out my Instagram. It'll be on there soon. Um, also, I wanted to utilise Reese's brain today and learn how to... Where's the memory card? Let's all do two things at once. Um, you, uh, there you go. Utilise Reese's brain. Because when I go on holiday and stuff, I just never know how to use a camera. There's so many settings, like the ISO, and when it's too bright or too dark. So today I wanted to shoot my own videos, or own video, just to see like how I did and get a feel for it. So we just did our first one and I'm just jumping on now to edit it. So, um, how do you feel it went? I mean, it took far less time than I thought. When I do talking videos, I do like 20 million takes. Might even be 20 million and one. I don't know, I'm such a perfectionist, but I need to drop that because now I'm just trying to like be myself and let my personality out, which was what I'm doing on YouTube. So yeah, it just takes a bit of time to just, to just be myself. <laughs> I'm just so yeah. fake. That's <laughs> I can't help it, I'm just fake, alright? I just play that fake character so well. <laughs> Whew. 
Guys, I literally I feel like I haven't even had a second to, to take a number two today, to have a poo. Literally feel like Reese came, banged out all the content, looked at the time, we were like, damn, it's three o'clock. Had to get back into my outfit that I actually shot earlier today. And then now I am about to rush for the train to head into town for the event. <laughs> Where are we, Elle? Take me in. Shira. This is so cool. We've got the gongs going on. We've got massages going on over here. Embrace the journey, embrace the process, because it's such a powerful and rewarding one. Allow your body and mind to awaken and open your eyes. And we're using your meditation practice to tune into your internal world. It's vulnerable and at times I'm ready to give up. Nobody taught me how to manage my own emotions. I just wasn't handling myself the way I wanted to. But each time that strength showed up, just a tiny glimmer at first, then more, then more again. And that's when things really started to work. That inner voice that had the strength to tell me to keep going, to forgive myself, and had the strength to help me to smile again. I learned how to feel more calm. I learned how to be grateful for everything, even the most challenging times. I learned how to control my state and raise my energy when I needed to. But none of this has happened by accident. You see, I firmly believe that I have built my strength. I chose the actions, habits, and practices that have helped make me strong. You see, we can't. Everyone, please welcome Sarah Kathleen. Hi, guys. I am. <laughs> I'm sobbing. <laughs> I need to control my emotion. I was like, I said to Laurie, are you crying? And his eyes, you're crying. No. <laughs> Is your mic working, honey? No. Do you want to share? Yeah. We can share. Guys, wow, sorry, I just need to gather myself, gather my emotions. I'm vulnerable, and at times I'm ready to give up. Nobody taught me how to manage my own emotions. I just wasn't handling myself the way I wanted to. But each time that strength showed up, just a tiny glimmer at first, then more, then more again. And that's when things really started to work. That inner voice that had the strength to tell me to keep going, to forgive myself, and had the strength to help me to smile again. I learned how to feel more calm. I learned how to be grateful for everything, even the most challenging times. I learned how to control my state and raise my energy when I needed to. But none of this has happened by accident. You see, I firmly believe that I have built my strength. I chose the actions, habits and practices that have helped make me strong. You see, we can't... Good morning, guys. I feel like all I do on these vlogs is say good morning, but... I feel like I'd be rude if I didn't say it. Um, if you cannot tell by the croakiness in my voice, I am a little bit hungover today. Did not expect to go to health and wellness launch and feel hungover the next day, but I went for wine before and then at the event I obviously had more wine and wine never sits well with me. I always feel like I'm very groggy, very hungover. And also I feel like I get the worst headaches the next day, which is what's happening right now. My camera battery, I didn't think that obviously whereas I'd been filming all day and stuff, my camera battery just went dead. So I didn't manage to get as much footage of the event as I wanted to, but it was a really fun event. Obviously it's my best friend's launch, so I was really proud of her. She absolutely smashed it. Um, but yeah, I guess we better bring this vlog to a close or else you're going to be all sitting here for hours listening to me completely ram rambling on also i need to go and nurse this hangover with some paracetamol and potentially a nap i never ever nap in the day but today i'm feeling like it's a nap day i feel like i'm gonna start that today um 
But yeah, thank you all for watching. If you did make it all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Please don't forget now to go and give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment below if you have anything you'd like to express or say. Um, I do want to know from you guys, I don't know if I've asked you this before, but I didn't see any comments. What sort of content do you guys want on my page? Do you prefer the vlogs? Do you want more makeup tutorials? More videos on the dog? What is it you guys love to see? Just so I can make sure I deliver what you enjoy. Um, but that is it guys. Don't forget next week to tune in for a men's natural undetectable kind of makeup tutorial. And I am switching off now for not only this vlog, but also for the day. So take care guys. Lots of love.